The last sample that I have here is a fairly unique watch. This happens to be a Tag Heuer 2000 series quartz chronograph, which is most likely from the late 1980s after the merger. Now this is a true Mecha Quartz and maybe one of the original Mecha Quartz in the watch industry. And how do we know this? Well, this uses a caliber 185 movement, which is simply a standard ETA Quartz movement, but it has a mechanical chronograph module that's actually tied to it. And that module was made by DD or Dubo Dupree. I'm probably not pronouncing that properly. But that was a very popular module at the time and not only tied to quartz, but also used in some mechanical automatic movements as well. And one way that we know this is because the alignment of the pushers in the crown are offset. They're not on the same plane. So that indicates that there's some kind of module and those pushers are located uh, closer to the dial. So let's take a look at this dial. So at 12 o'clock, we have running seconds. And what's fairly unique about this watch, there's actually two things that are unique about this watch. The first one is that this watch actually runs in half second increments. So the small second hands run in half second increments and then also the large chronograph hand also operates in half second increments, which I will show you later. The other thing that's really unique about this watch is that the Cyclops for the date is actually built into the dial. It's not on the crystal itself. It's below the crystal, and I believe it's it's just, just below the dial. So I think that's that's really unique what they did there. I don't see many watches that have a Cyclops like that. So as mentioned, we have running seconds at 12 o'clock. At 6 o'clock, we have a 12-hour counter. And at 9 o'clock, we have a 30-minute counter. And this one's going to behave just like the Seiko and the Pagani. When I start the chronograph, we're going to hear a click. Now what's a little bit different is that that large sweep second hand is actually moving in half second increments, where the other ones were actually moving in one fifth second increments. Now when I stop this and I reset it, it's going to behave just like the other Mecha Quartz movements. It's going to snap back to zero instantaneously. There you go. Well, I hope this video helped you understand the difference between a mecha quartz movement and a standard quartz chronograph movement. And just know that if you see a movement or a large second hand sweeping in one fifth second increments, it doesn't automatically mean it's a mecha quartz. So really what determines whether or not a quartz movement is a mecha quartz is how it behaves during the reset. So if you have any questions, please leave them down below and thank you for watching.